Hello and welcome to Art in Motion. Today we're going to take a look at how to create this really, really awesome comic book heavy inked etched look. And it's quite simple, it's very quick, and hey, could be useful. If not, too bad. As always, we're greeted with the default setup in Blender. Let's just delete the default queue. Then add in a sphere. Set it to smooth over here on the side. Then head over to the shaded view. Make sure that you're in Blender Renderer because this is going to be using the internal renderer and not cycles. Then just click New Shader. Underneath Diffuse, we click on Ramp. And on the dark side of the ramp, we just increase the alpha so it's black. And then go down to Input and change it to Result. So now, we can adjust it exactly how we want. So it's already looking almost perfect. But you can see it's a bit of a highlight, so let's go to Specular and turn the intensity down to zero. Okay, now that we've done that, our next step is to go to the Texture tab. Over here. Click on the first texture, say New. Change the texture to Cloud. And you'll already sort of notice that you've got this sort of speckled look. It looks pretty awesome. I'm sure there's even a use for that. But we're going to try and get that very cross-hatched sort of look. Because what this is going to be used for, we're just going to go over to under mapping, go to coordinates, and generate. And it gives you this very nice uneven edge. And we'll go down a little bit further underneath influences and go to the bottom here and just click on stencil. It just changes the look a little bit. And I just kind of prefer it. It's not necessary but it could mess things up later for you so we'll just keep it like that. And then we'll go over to um, the cloud settings and change it to hard. The next step is to click on another texture over here and say new. This time we'll change it over to wood. Ah, oh, see we're already starting to get that lovely cross hatch look. And again we go down to UV and we change it to generated. We click off color under influences and click on normal. We can then go down to where it says method and change it to original from low quality. We can then go to mapping and I think we'll just put this in 3, 3, 3. So it's repetitive. We can increase that a lot more but what we'll do instead just to create some variety is underneath color click on ramp. Do the same thing that we did before. And we'll just change it to, oh, so we'll make it a solid. Add in a few new points, and we'll alternate between black and white. And that's pretty much it. I mean, Let's just add in a Susan here. Hello, Susan. Or we'll rotate you so you're facing the light a little more. Go to shaders. Select the new shader we just made. And bam! There we have it. A nice, quick, and simple, very dramatic, very hard edged looking cross hatched kind of shader. So if you're going for the very comic book look or 
um, manga look even I suppose it's very dramatic it's very very um, sensitive to light so if we just grab the lamp here and move it around you can see it's very dramatic and very harsh lighting so if you want to make a fan version of I don't know um, I don't know if you want to make some sort of fan version of Sin City or something, this I think would get you halfway there. I think it's a very cool effect, you can let me know what you think and if you found this tutorial useful. I'm going to try and make a Cycles version of this, but Cycles will never be able to render that forest. I mean really, that's insane. Sometimes in tonal is just the way to go for some effects. Otherwise, cycles is pretty great. But don't forget about internal. It still has its uses. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you want more clear, concise tutorials, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You will have access to exclusive assets, I have made for my own personal projects why don't you just admit that you're freaked out by my robot